chopper, say 75, 80,000. New. Depends on who the builder is.
although quite frankly I haven't seen anything other than a little bit of trash picked up. How about you? Well, the unofficial report was there was zero biker roundup arrests. There were several DUIs outside of the area, which may have been biker bikers who were coming to it. But as far as in the facility within the area, uh, zero arrests roundup related. And the trash part, um, I'm a member of the American Legion. We rented the Legion for the weekend for a big party, dance, stop off spot. Sunday morning, there was one paper plate in the parking lot. One. Yeah. It was clean. It was spotless. We can't blame the folks who rented the place for the paper plate. It may have blown out of someone else's truck. But close to 500 people were in and out of the American Legion during Biker Roundup, having a good time, and on Sunday morning, no damage, no trash. And there were no problems in the area surrounding the racetrack other than traffic congestion. Traffic congestion. And when you try to put 30,000 people in one space and everybody wants to be there at 7 o'clock, that's going to happen. Yeah. Um, from a personal standpoint, I had a fantastic time seeing the equipment, seeing the motorcycles, the, the level of care and love for this lifestyle and this machine. Well, I know when we were doing our ride and walk around the other day, you were stopping and asking people how they were doing, how they felt they were being treated, how much fun they were having. So give me a little input on what they told you. Well, we, we started out with law enforcement. And law enforcement, they were having a good time as they were working because they were doing the same appreciation as the motorcycles that we were. There was an appreciation of the people who were coming in because they were being polite and generous and, and kind and well behaved, which always makes law enforcement's job much better. But as we walked around, I talked to a 26 year retired Air Force veteran. I talked to a 27 year Navy veteran. Um, Desert Shield, Desert Storm patches all over the place. Everyone we talked to appreciated Southern hospitality, appreciated the way the event was going, and were having a good time. And I can tell you, it was a, from my standpoint, it was great people, great event, uh, just a, a fun time for all. One thing I will say, having been to a bunch of motorcycle rallies, and especially private events, this is probably the best behaved crowd I've ever seen at a motorcycle rally. And that was when we looked around. We were counting people drinking. I did not see many open containers um, at NASCAR events. That I mean, it's it's generally said we people walk around with a beer in their hand the whole time. Yeah. I don't. Did we see one in fifty that had a had an open beer? Maybe one in fifty. About one in fifty, and people were talking about the illicit drugs and all the marijuana. Honestly, what I smelled was barbecue and fried fish fried fish and turkey legs and yeah. I did not I did not smell any of a, 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 a lot of weed. any sign of any illicit drugs. I mean let's not blow smoke up anybody's behind here. When you get thirty thousand people together you're gonna have some drunks and you're gonna have some druggies, but they were well hidden, they were well behaved. They weren't there that we saw. Right. Um and from the an economic standpoint, my business is a couple of miles away from the drag strip. We shut down early Saturday, a couple hours early, because the traffic was affecting our business. I do not think I lost sales because anyone who is going to buy furniture, if they have to have it Saturday between 4 and 6, they can go somewhere else. I think most people say, well, I'll go back Monday, I'll go back Tuesday. So it affected me a from a business standpoint, I may not have made a sale on Saturday, but that is a small price to pay for my because my neighbor three miles down the road who runs a convenience store had people in that store 20 hours out of the day. He was going through ice, 
in Gatorade, in drinks. They were still, they had vendors set up in his parking lot who paid him a, a rather substantial fee to set up in his parking lot. So on the good neighbor policy, I was, I was thrilled that that many people, because he had an opportunity to really make some money. And it didn't, in the long run, I don't think it'll affect my numbers at the end of the month. It might affect my numbers for that Saturday, but I don't believe I've lost any business because of that. And not to mention, all the hotels are filled up. And I want to tell everybody here that's watching about something. I saw this Sunday when I was leaving church. There was a white couple, and they had their Harley Davidson strapped on one of these uh, tow bars on the back. The kind where the front wheel of the motorcycle is on the trailer hitch, and the back wheel is riding on around. Well, the strap broke on it, and it started to fall over. Well, all the other bikers, that just happened to all be African Americans, ran over there and helped them. I mean, they stopped in the road and stopped what they were doing and helped these people get their motorcycle straight. And that's the kind of thing that you saw examples of all weekend. So, well, anyway, what I loved about it was the entrepreneurial spirit that we saw. Mm -hmm. We were walking through and we saw people selling t-shirts and we saw people cooking fish and serving some fantastic food. And one young man, he yells out at us, hey, hey, free samples. And we were like, what? Yeah, and they finally free samples. And so we walked over, and I promise you, that was some of the best catfish nuggets I have ever had. Mm -hmm. We ended up, because of my appreciation for his entrepreneurial spirit, his willing to take a risk, drive down from Chicago, set up a booth to try to sell his product, to try to sell his name, get out there, that's hard work, mm -hmm. a big risk, trying to live the American dream. I bought his his mix because of the spirit under which he was working. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna buy more of it because we found out it's good. It's and there, yeah, and there, but like I said, there were so many people. There were so many rumors about what was going to happen, how much trouble there was going to be. Well, folks, that was hundred proof bullshit. Harley Davidson wouldn't have sent their trucks in here if it had been like that. And as I said, it's probably less trouble than any other biker event that I've ever been to in my entire life. Well, and I can, I stuck out like a sore thumb because I was dressed like I was coming from a tennis match versus a, a bike rally. Mm -hmm. And no one, I didn't get a funny look, I didn't get a comment, everyone was just as polite and generous to me as they could have been. Yeah. But I think we'll both agree that when they get ready to do this again here, they've got two friends they can count on to help them. Yes. And if it happens anywhere close, if they ever make it to North Carolina, Georgia, I believe I'll have to go just to see the quality of motorcycles. I don't, I don't ride, but I do appreciate fine equipment. And there was some fine equipment out there. Yes, there was.